Yeah. Okay, you guys. It's my birthday. Oh, it's almost my birthday. Here I am on my resurrection year. What's up, Kendall? It's my resurrection year at 33 in just a few moments here. And, um, here I am in the RV at work. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, let me know when you're headed away. I'm waiting on a couple people. Let me see if I can send this text. And still stay on my periscope. Yep, I can. Okay, I got somebody on the way. A couple people on the way. And none of them are the guy to fix the RV. He's on the way till the morning. But um, I want everybody to know, here I am. It's my birthday. Oh, yeah, we got a full moon coming up, I believe. That's got to be coming up soon. Maybe even tonight. What's up, Trevor? It's my birthday. What's up, yo, door? Yo, door? I love it. Jordan Albert, here we are on my birthday, you guys. It's courtesy of T-Mobile. They gave me the extension on my payment this month. We worked it out on a payment plan, you know. Thanks, Jordan. Thanks. Some of you may be current with the story. Some of you may not be. Oh, look, we got birthday balloons. That's something. All the birthday balloons in the hearts are for the healing of the nations and the end of every curse. Thank you. Thank you. And you guys, feel free to share this broadcast. Everybody's just supposed to give me love today because, God damn it, I've been giving love all year long. I've done, like, almost tapped out on it. You know what I'm saying? I almost gave out so much love, I just, like, expired on everything. But I made it. I made it. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thanks for inviting all the folks. So, you guys, Brother Dank is here for the healing of the nations and the end of every curse. Make no mistake about it. Even on this birthday, here we are on the resurrection year. And what am I doing? I'm giving love on Periscope. Because that's really, uh, all I really want to do is give love to everybody. Like, I'm working the day job and on. I'm trying to catch up. I'm trying to help people. There's money involved, I guess, because I've been fucking giving it away. And I've been running out of it and shit and putting myself in this RV that doesn't work. And that's what's up on my resurrection year, you guys. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying this is what is going on, and I'm okay with it. And I just hope it gets easier for me so I can help more people. Because I find when I'm at ease, maybe I'm a little bit less stressed. I can help more people. But here I am on my birthday. We're not going to have any stress about it with your help. With your help, you guys. Okay. I need your help on this sometimes. Here I am on my birthday asking for a little bit of help. With, and, and, and a lot of appreciation and thanks for you guys being here. Okay, well, what do y'all want to do here? What do y'all want to do about it? I got some weed on the way. You know? That's one thing we're doing. We'll do that. Um, I got... Thanks, Pablo. Thanks, bro. So, have you guys subscribed to my YouTube? It'd be a great birthday gift to me if all six of you guys subscribed to my YouTube if you haven't yet. Because I log on my periscopes on my YouTube. I actually look fucking good in this hat. Man, T-Mobile. They got me looking good in a cap. All right. Now, see how we got that thing? We didn't take the sticker off and shit. Let me show you how fly this hat is from T-Mobile. You subscribe to my YouTube. Thanks, Jordan. You guys, let me show you how tight this gear is from T-Mobile. That's how hype. You know? Yes, I have YouTube, bruh. Yes, I have YouTube. Look, the sheriff's pulling around. He's like, what's up? Nothing, sheriff. I'm just chilling. Look, anyway, that's my T-Mobile hat, right? That's what's up. Okay, yes, I have a YouTube. It's called Brother Dank. No, I'm not working for T-Mobile, but I'm on their, I, 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 I use their services, they're in the uncarrier, and um, they always hook up my bill, like, they're like, okay, no problem, you can't pay your bill, we'll give you like 30 more days, and then we're going to cut your shit off, and so I really appreciate them, I've been a T-Mobile customer for about two years now, and they give me this hat, like every Tuesday they give you maybe some gear, they give you cool stuff, it's called T-Mobile Tuesdays, you guys. No, I don't work T-Mobile, but I do serve the general public at large with this free gospel, and T-Mobile doesn't hook me up as a member of the ministry or anything. I pay like normal people's fees to use T-Mobile. So if you want to support this ministry, today's the day to do it. As we're stepping into the resurrection, you're at paypal.me backslash brother dank. If you ever thought it was worth something, if you thought I was doing something that's helping people, which, which I am, if you can see that, feel free to drop a dime in the bucket. Remember, the lady's smallest gift, what was it? The greatest gift, the smallest gift. All she had was a couple of pennies, but she gave the most. It's like that, you guys. It's like that like that if you have it give it though if you don't have it you know wow wow you must be like a saint like your boy who give, gives everything he has away i would have forget oh i know you have a negative balance bro i got negative balances here and there and then in one account i have one 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 account i have one 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 in my resurrection year birthday ringing in i have one 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 in that account let the record show i have one dollar and eleven cents in that one in that one account okay and, um, but you, you guys can change all that. You can hit my PayPal me. 
You have 13 bucks in your account? Dang, dude, that is a that is a, a hefty chunk of uh of bucks. That's like a stack of dollars right there. Well, look, if you got that much money in your account, you know, you know, then maybe you could spare a buck or two. PayPal.me backslash brother dang. You know what I'm saying? Look at that stack. Say how how many little of these little paper thin things can I spare off of this stack? See what happens, man. See what happens, dude. Sow your seeds. <laughs> Seriously, though, I mean, it's a legitimate ministry. I'm not trying to make people feel guilty for not supporting it, but, man, I'd be hooking people up with some power, dude, some power. Dude, listen to this. I took this call last night. <laughs> free call, of course, free call. This lady had been targeted. Like, you guys heard of targeted individuals? She was one of them. She's just figuring it out. I was the first person she got to talk to about it that could make any sense out of her experience for the last few years. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I'm in a particular position to help people. I certainly am going to help people, you guys, whether you understand what, what other people are going through or not. I understand a lot enough to help them. So, hey, consider that. Gang stalk, yes. If you need some grasses, well, thank you, Jordan. That's an, that's such a nice offer, dude. I will. I will need these types of things, both of those. Um, So, I'll tweet you about that, right? That'd be a great birthday gift because BrotherDank.com needs to get uh, going. And my web guy, um, my web guy is kind of caught up on different issues. He's kind of unavailable to work on it, but he had it set up with like kind of intricate with like a, a little network going and stuff. So I'm not too familiar with his overall approach to really be fucking with my own um, website right now, you know, because it's like tied into other things. Help set up what you need. I know. Thanks, man. Thanks. I figured you could do stuff like that when you offer. Appreciate that. I'm going to. I'm going to. Oh, man, but here's what we're going to do, you guys. Can we just give thanks for a moment? Let's give thanks today. I wonder if that's down or what. Okay, let's give thanks today. You guys, I just about made it. I just about made it longer. Or did I make it longer than Jesus? I don't know if he died on his birthday. He was just 33 years old. I might not have made it as long as him. Somebody tried to tell me I made it as long as Jesus. I didn't quite buy it. But when I'm 34, I'll know for sure. <laughs> I'll know for sure. And also, shit's going to pop off this year. Like, we're right in the middle of a year. This year was crazy. This year was absolutely bonkers already. Where are you? I'm around Portland. This year was absolutely bonkers with the gang stalking. I mean, the Voices Call got turned way up. The Gaslight Games were on, you know? That was like the first half of this year. So I'm trying to take the second half of this year and fucking be me, you know? Trying to be me here. And I'm going to do it. So I found a place to park this RV. It's like $100 a month or whatever. I don't know if I can be there, but at least the RV will have a spot. Then I can deal with that. I really just want to uh, hunker down and make some bucks, you guys. I need to put some put some money in my purse, like Shakespeare said. And listen, you guys, I'm here for you. I know you. one only guy has so much in his account. The other guy has so much in his account. But you guys, let's book that session. You want to see the RV? Dude, the last guy who had it had PTSD and he destroyed it. He destroyed it. But yes, I'll take you on the tour. I don't really have the lights running or anything because it's hard to start. And I got a mechanic. Come, I think I have a fuel pump problem. So I'm just giving you all the caveats. But I'll, I'll take you around it. Do you know how to work on RVs? I got this mechanic maybe coming tomorrow. My boss is like, it's got to be gone soon. So I got to do something with it. Soon. And people owe me money. I just gave away all my money. So it's frustrating, you guys. I'm a little bit ticked. I'm real ticked off. <coughs> Dude, it's solar panel ready. Like, I got the inverters and shit and the batteries ready. All I need to do is stick some panels on top. It's like $400 away from solar panels. But I don't really have a good place to park it and pay rent and all that right now. Because I'm, like, in between paychecks and I was just handed this thing, you know? I just handed this thing because this lady was in it and she was dealing with... DV and my friend was going crazy in it. Walmart around here does not allow overnight parking, and I kind of have to, um, kind of have to work the day job to and stay in the area. So I'm trying to float and work it out. I can park in Walmart. Well, I can actually park in Walmart during the day. So I was thinking of floating at night and Walmarting during the day. But this particular Walmart doesn't allow overnight. This particular Walmart, where I get gang stalked. They have a they have a couple uh, agents over in that Walmart, a couple real life agents. It's okay though. Um, I'll do. I'm sure I'll do. They work with Homeland Security. Oh oh, they all have overnight parking. 
know, they don't all have overnight parking. They all have overnight parking unless otherwise noted, and this one is otherwise noted. And they will note for you that they do not. They will make that note if you didn't have it. But again, I found a place to park it. It's just, it doesn't really drive too reliably or easily. Or I would just float it around and like park and sleep in and then park in Walmart. If I can't get it operating really easily, like if I can't turn the motor and have it turn on by fucking Monday, then I'm going to go park it somewhere, I guess. And I'm going to ask my parents for birthday money or something. Because they haven't given me a birthday gift in a few years and they're still around. <coughs> What brand is it? It's a 93 Holiday Rambler. 93 Holiday Rambler Class C. Okay, so I'll show you around. Here's what we got. So, here's the coach up here. You know, this is like the coach. No, it's a Ford. It's got a Ford engine. It's got a Ford engine. This is the coach. There's a crack in the windshield. Got to repair that. $1,000 windshield, you know. All this shit's been ripped out. All this shit's been ripped out. My dude has, like, PTSD rage. Um, no, so we got a bare-bone situation. We got, like, a couch, needs reupholstering and everything. We got a fridge. This shit works. All this shit works. I've got like an inverter up here. So it's like where all the electrical shit goes. Like, can like deal with that, you know? There's like a sink. All this shit works. Stove works. I got LP gas. You know, toilet. All that shit works. And we got like the bedroom back here. The bedroom. You can't really see the bedroom. But there's a bed back here. So that's what I'm dealing with. This is the condition it was it was given to me. It is fucking huge. It's fucking huge. It's like 30 feet. So I don't know what to do with it. You know, like, Brother Dank could do a fucking ministry out of it or whatever. Or running, you know. I would almost need... I'd almost want, like, a crew or something. I'd almost want, like, a uh, ministry partner. Someone give it to me. Well, they gave it to me because they had to abandon it and it was going to get towed if they didn't. And it was because, like, they couldn't, the chick, like, couldn't really keep moving in and keep it not towed. So she just kind of dumped it off on me and usurped the place that I was, like, happily fucking paying rent at, sort of. And she needed it or whatever. And like, But they kind of, like, I don't know. I'm fine with it. I'm fine with how it happened and everything. I don't care. But basically, yeah, I was handed in an RV that doesn't quite work. So it's not, like, the greatest gift. It's like I was handed homelessness again, kind of. Do I have a place? No. I gave this chick my place. And my old landlord wasn't cool enough to fucking deal with everything. He was kind of a douche. So that's why I was not really worried about giving it up. Because uh, this fucking gang stalking has had me fucking wrecked out already. And so when normal things happen in life or whatever, and like actually I'm going to help a person and not just be fucked myself, if someone else can actually be helped from it, then okay, it's not as bad as just being gang stalked fucked out of everything, you know? That's how I see it right now. I also have that, yes. I also have that. It's not mine, but I've had that experience. I was trying to borrow their computer at this time. It is horrible. It is horrible. But the more you arm yourself with information and knowledge, the easier it is to deal with because you have, have like some comprehension of what the fuck is going on. Can you fix this thing up? I can, man. I can. It's just about, like, catching up with money and shit. Everybody wants money. I just gave away all my money. You know? But I can. I can. Look, if you know anybody who needs meditation, you know anybody who wants to book a sesh, dude, book a sesh. Like, this is this is where Brother Dank's ministry is, you know what I'm saying? This is my life given. Little by little, absolutely. Like, the first thing is to get it rolling. Actually, the first thing might be to get it parked. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. But then I have to figure out where I'm going to be for a minute, you know. Because I don't think I can park and live in this particular place, unless I keep it low. Keep it low. Keep it low. But probably not. Probably not. I end up making some type of noise. And everybody's like, oh, he's doing something outside of social standards. He's living in a place where it's parking only. The windshield can get fixed for free. How? What are you talking about? 
What are you talking about, man? How does that happen? Buy my car insurance and then file a claim on it? Let's see here. Buy car insurance with windshield replacement. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's fine. You know, car insurance too. I almost bought car insurance and then, um, they were trying to charge me like a thousand dollars, um, one time payment right then and there to do it. And I was like, uh, huh? <laughs> I was like, don't you guys make payment plans? Nope, not online at that moment. Not over my phone when I was clicking through or whatever. Couldn't do it. This was like two days, two days ago or something, you know what I'm saying? I haven't really had time to deal with anything. I've just been going to work so I can at least have money coming to deal with things. And I've been trying. And then the thing is, the, the thing is, what's up, Mr. T? The thing is, um, and like I was trying to help my friend during all this time, and so I missed a lot of work, so I'm fucking behind there again. So it's just like extra frustrations, but I'm trying to focus and work. I'm trying to focus and work. What's up? What's up, comes out, Miss Caroline? Hey, what's up, man? I like this dude. Mr. T, welcome. Look, it's my it's my birthday, Mr. T. I want to just tell everybody that, because it is. It's just about my birthday. Look, man, this dude Pablo's just here rapping with your boy, dude. We're talking about this RV. We're talking about, you know, just uh, what to do in life. And we're figuring it out. Look, let's light a candle, y'all. Let's light a candle, y'all. Huh? Let's light a candle, y'all. Hey, man, y'all trying to legalize weed in South Carolina? Because I already legalized Louisiana, and Jesus is weed in all 50 states, man. Jesus is weed. All 50 of them. I'm living the dream, bro. I've been living the dream already. Like, I've been living the dream. It's not the easiest dream, dude. It's not like the. It's not like a cool thing, because, like, my dream is a little bit complicated, because in my dream, I have concerns. It's just like you're cool. All right, cool. Okay, I'm on the internet over here. Okay. Okay. So internet. Let me tell y'all later. Uh, let me tell y'all peace out for a mo. I am cool. You're right. You're right. Look, tell all your friends, brother. Thanks coming back for his birthday bash here in just a moment. So get everybody ready. You know what I'm saying? Get everybody ready. I'm gonna take one quick moment to be with my people in the flesh. Thank you. All right. 